Hello and welcome to week 11 of the Lucy Letby trial. So what happened last week? Well, the jurors returned to court after two weeks off over Christmas, two and a half weeks, I think, in total, because if you remember, during week 10, um, a couple of jurors had COVID and the trial had to be delayed. Well, they came back on Tuesday, the 9th of January, um, only to find that only 10 out of the 12 jurors had returned. Now, the judge said that the two jurors who were absent had very good reasons. And that was a quote from the judge. They had very good reasons to not be there. But because two of them were away, they couldn't continue with the trial. So for the rest of the week, the, the trial was actually adjourned. So nothing happened. Um, what the judge did say, a few kind of important points. First of all, remember, we are only in the prosecution's case. We are on child G, which is the seventh child. And this is not even halfway through um, the prosecution's case. And then what will happen is the defence will have to present their case. So this is actually going to go on for quite a long time. And they said that this would, they think, continue until um, at least kind of mid-May, possibly, possibly longer. And the only time off that they're going to give the jury are going to be for two weeks over Easter. Now, obviously, and bank holidays, I think there are three bank holidays in May, um, jurors may become unwell. The other thing that the judge said to the jurors, the 10 who were there, um, the judge reminded them that they must not conduct any like independent research out of court, um, because that would be illegal, that would be contempt of court. And also um, the judge reminded them that they can't name the children. There's actually a court order banning naming the children, hence why we're, we're saying, you know, child G and so on. Um, and also the parents can't be named because that would then identify the children. So nothing really to, to report, but it's just quite interesting to see what's going to happen to these two jurors. They could continue without them. You can have 10 people on a jury but once you've gone then you've gone you cannot return um, because you have to be there to listen to all of the evidence so tune back next week when um, we may have more information about what has happened